Am I the a-hole for telling my nephew that his deceased mother was my ex-wife? This is a family conflict that came up recently. I, male 46, used to work in the military, so I was away from home most of the time. When my then-only son was three years old, I discovered by accident that he wasn't mine. He was my older brother's. It was the most devastating time in my life, aside from what I was dealing with. My ex-wife and I ended up divorcing, and I cut contact with my brother for years. I was done with him, even after my ex-wife, who he married the same year of the divorce, died suddenly. My parents thought my ex's death was supposed to make everything okay, as they claimed she was the one who drove a wedge between me and my brother, but I kept my distance. My nephew started reaching out to me, and we began seeing each other more often when he was around 15. He has always been told that the fight between me and my brother was about business. My parents threatened to disown me if I told my nephew that his mother was my ex, and that I should leave it alone. Which I did, since they said that if they had to choose, they'd pick their nephew slash grandson. My nephew tried to get me to meet my brother so we could talk, since my brother welcomed the idea, but I refused. I made it clear to him that he needed to stop forcing a reunion, and he respected my wishes. He's now 21, and is getting married in November. He sent an invitation, which I declined and returned right away. He called to ask why, and I said I'm no contact with his dad, so I won't come since he will be there. My nephew refused to accept that and came over and started criticizing me, saying I'm being unnecessarily bitter and resentful towards his apologetic dad over some business, and said he cannot believe how much hate and grudge I keep inside me against his dad. Then he said I either try to work things out with his dad or he will not be seeing me again. I felt hesitant at first, but then told him his dad and I don't have a usual beef, and that his mother was my ex-wife who his dad messed around with while I was in military. My nephew denied it, saying his dad and grandparents never told him that. He thought I was lying till I showed him enough proof to get him to change his tone. He left in a hurry and was enraged. I later found out via my parents that my nephew canceled all my family's wedding invitations, put the wedding on hold and disappeared after he had a huge argument with them and disowned his dad. My father was very sick after this incident, and my entire family keep harassing me saying I ruined everyone's life with what he did because of my hate and resentment towards my brother. They said they want me not to talk. And now I should deal with the consequences of alienating their grandson slash nephew from them. Now for the top comments. Not today, home. Yikes. This whole thing is a mess, but they should have told him. He is not a kid anymore and is old enough to handle this information. They lied to him for years. He isn't a kid anymore. Lied to him for so long and so completely that it almost led to him destroying his relationship with an uncle he loved and loved him back enough to take all of the pain on him, foolishly trying to mend the relationship with his dad without having any truthful information about what happened, despite being the product of the thing that caused his uncle so much pain. Must have been hell of a doozy. I think the grandpa being sick is a BS cup out too. If he is that sick for long to the grandson, that's his own fault. I would bet he is not actually sick. He is just being a child that refuses to eat, and this messed up family, that is ammo to hurl at Opie. Not today, Hull. They lied to the kid. For years. And in doing so, they made you out to be the bad guy. They should have been upfront with him from the beginning. I don't even understand the point of this lie. What does it accomplish? Next story is titled, Am I the a-hole for telling my father I will tell his youngest the truth about her birth if he doesn't explain something to her next time she calls me? When I was 13, my father slept with my mom's sister and got her pregnant. After being married to my mom for 20 years and having me, my brother, and sister, it was a hugely traumatic thing for us. My siblings and I refused to have a relationship with our father, not because of his actions alone, but because he always talked about how people who cheat are some of the lowest people out there, how they are disrespectful and cruel, and have no kindness or empathy in their hearts. So the fact he cheated, that he slept with his own wife's sister, his children's aunt, and did it while his wife was going through health worries. She had a cancer scare around that time, showed just how right he was, and not only that, but he was a hypocrite. My father now has 12-year-old daughter. I have met her four times while my siblings have not. After I saw her for the first time two years ago, she started to call me and wanted to get to know me. I struggled with this because I don't want a relationship with her, but she's also innocent, and I didn't know how to say that to her without hurting her. She knew about me and my siblings, she knew we were her half-siblings, but she doesn't know our moms or sisters. She doesn't know the story, but she has repeatedly asked why we don't visit more, why I don't come over and spend time with the family, and I always sidestep or change the subject. But it got more and more intense, so I told my father to get her to cut it out a while ago. 
He ignored me. She told me her parents got back together again and want to get married again. I'm assuming a vow renewal because I don't think they divorced, and she wants us to be a family. Then she asked why I hate our dad, why I hate her mom, why I want to be her big sister. I avoided a conversation and I sent my dad an email telling him that if he doesn't tell her something and get her to stop asking, then I will be honest and I will make sure she doesn't ask anymore. I told him I don't want to, but he is the parent and this is his job, not mine. He responded that I was cruel to threaten to tell a kid all this. Then his mom, who stopped speaking to me and my siblings after we refused a relationship with him and his daughter, showed up at my mom's to say I was behaving like a disgusting person and should never have spoken to my father like that or threatened an innocent child. I mean, maybe it's wrong to be willing to say it, but regardless, whatever I say is going to come off sounding harsh because I am working so hard to spare her feelings while also not really caring about a relationship with her. And it should be on him. Am I the a-hole? Stop telling your dad to step up. He won't. Just tell her he did some things that you did not like. What they are is not your story to tell. It's his. And whether or not you want to stay in touch with her. Like you said, she is innocent. You need to decide if she is going to be in your life and be firm. Quit leading her on and accepting her calls if you're not going to have a relationship with her. This. She's 12. If you don't want a relationship with her, why did you see her these four times? You're causing harm to her with all this flip-flopping. It's cute that he thinks he has any standing on telling someone they're being cruel to an innocent person. Not day home, but I'm actually gonna take the stance that you tell her flat out. I understand wanting to keep distance from her, but in an unfortunately twisted way, she'll be in a similar situation to what you and your siblings were in, and she will need that support, just as you likely did. It is going to suck for her to be told the truth. There's no getting around it. But I also generally abhor the notion of kicking the can down the road until she's of age. She needs to know. And as much as I truly hate it for you given your feelings about her and the situation, she is going to need you and your siblings. Your father is a manipulative, corrupt, lying cheat. And his daughter needs to know that before she's gaslit into any more years of her life. Once again, not day home. Your father is. I don't think she'll ever have my siblings. They have been very clear they will never want to meet or speak to her. I didn't want to either. I kind of regret not just shutting it all down sooner. I am not a person who could be there for her. Maybe a better version of me could have. I'm just not sure that's me. Next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my brother our parents knew all along that he had a child and hid it from him? My brother dated Addie for two years. My parents liked her, but they didn't want my brother to marry her, so they were happy about the breakup. Five months after the breakup, Addie contacted our parents to ask them to tell my brother that she was pregnant because she couldn't get in touch with him. They never told him. Instead, they told her that if my brother was involved, they would make sure it got custody and she would never see her baby again, but that they would provide financial support if she kept this quiet because the child was still their blood. It's obvious which choice she picked. I used to be close friends with Addie before she dated my brother, but she cut contact with me after they broke up since it wasn't a good breakup. We still have mutual friends. So we reconnected about three months ago and she told me all of this a month ago. Their son is now too. And my brother found out two weeks ago and was livid. He blamed Addie it was awful to her and blamed me for not telling him as soon as I found out. On Sunday, we were having a family dinner and my dad and brother were strategizing on how he would get his son full time. I interrupted and told him he couldn't do that to Addie because she acted in fear. My brother exploded at me and was ranting about how she had kept his son from him. And now she would know how that felt. And that I had already shown him where my loyalty lies, since I didn't tell him immediately. My parents were agreeing with him and telling me off too. I got annoyed by their hypocrisy, so I told him the truth about our parents. And now he isn't speaking to them at all. And they're blaming me for it. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. Please testify on Addie's behalf if they try to take her child. Your parents are disgusting humans that are making your brother want to. None of this is appropriate. When both parents are capable and willing, it's 50-50, not 100-0. The only way they would get that judgment is by lying and claiming things like substance abuse, endangerment, or mistreatment. Please call them out in court, please. Do this, ASAP. Holy cow, your family's awful. Not today, home. Your parents are the worst here. I feel so bad for that kid and stuck in the middle of all this. Should you have told your brother right away? Maybe. 
But I get that it's an awkward position to be in as Addie having this child isn't really your information to share. It's hers. And sharing the information about your parents when you did seems like it was to help the child. That's my interpretation anyway. Your parents have no right to be mad at you for outing them on this. Your brother wanting to punish both Addie and the kid by taking the kid away from her? That's so wrong. Give Addie heads up. Tell her to start looking into lawyers to protect herself and her child. Your parents and brother are rahals for treating an actual human with actual human emotions as if he's a prize to win in some kind of sick competition against Eddie. Your parents are extra rahals for creating this ridiculous, toxic situation. I'm not saying everyone sucks here because you got put into an impossible position and because there's not enough information about Eddie to know if she's a participant in the sick games or strictly a victim of them. I don't think the brother was as much of the a-hole. He did think she hid it from him on her own volition and had his parents in his ear convincing him he needed full custody. Next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my mom that she is being a pathetic excuse of a mother? My stepsister is having a hard time right now. Her biological mom passed away two years ago. Her grades dropped and she didn't get into her dream college. She's still sad about it, but she got into a good college. She didn't have a great relationship with her mother and is super close to my mom, and she is going to therapy. My uncle visited last week. He is a nahal who likes to tease people. My mom's side of the family is full of really successful people, and some of them do look down on my stepsister because her mom doesn't come from wealthy background. Anyway, he teased her about her college and she didn't react too well. My mom didn't say anything, and then this turd had the audacity to tell my mom that she did as good a job as she could with my stepsister that there's only so much she could do with people who just didn't have the right background. I could literally see my sister wither when he said that. So I was knocked back about him about a son who dropped out of college, and things devolved into an argument between me and my uncle. I know I did the right thing here, especially because it made my sister cry, and she shut herself back into her room again. Then about three days ago, mom said I dealt with the situation poorly, and that I should have taken it like a joke and ignored it. She also told me that I shouldn't start an argument with my family like that, and she hated that I did it. This really pissed me off. She always takes their side whenever they provoke and mock us, and she has never stood up for us properly. I told her that she knew it wasn't a joke, and everyone knew it was not. And by not sticking up for her daughter who has a nasty bout of depression, she's being a pathetic excuse of a mom right now. I know I shouldn't have said that. I was going too far, and I feel like I really hurt her, but things like this have happened before. She lets her siblings kick us when we are down and it's hurt. And I feel like I'm doing that the same thing right now. Kicking mom when she is down. I feel like a huge jerk. Not today, home. I really hate people who use jokes as a way to mask cruel and called for comments. It's only a joke if everyone laughs. If his comments made your sister cry, they definitely should not be taken as a joke. I agree with you. Also, people use brutal honesty as an excuse. There are things better left unsaid. I can't remember who said it, but I think it sums that up pretty well. People who describe themselves as brutal honest are usually more interested in exercising brutality than honesty. Not today, Hall. Tell your uncle that being an a-hole isn't a personality, and your mom should always be ready to defend her daughter. Depression is no joke. It is the hardest thing for some people to get through. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hall for calling my ex a dictator and planning a second birthday party for our son without him after we agreed to have a joint party? Our son is turning five at the end of the month and we always have joint birthday parties. I usually organized a party alone, but this year my ex insisted we plan it together in the name of being fair. Well, that was a huge mistake because he has dictated everything and this party is more for him than for our son. The guest list is ridiculous. Our son only knows about 5% of the people he is inviting, and the whole party is going to be one joint production that benefits him more than for the enjoyment of our son. It took our son to see his paternal family a few days ago, and my ex turned up too. They were asking me questions about the party, and I told them to ask my ex because he had done everything himself, so he would know. My ex tried to lie, and say he hadn't, and that we had planned things together. I scoffed and said that he had been a dictator the entire time, and I was going to have a smaller party with my family at a later date. So our son knew at least one of us realized his birthday was about him and not about us. My ex was pissed. It didn't help that his parents got on his case about being a dictator. My ex is demanding I don't have the smaller party because it feels like I'm excluding him on purpose. And he wants me to tell his family I exaggerated a dictator comment. I said no to both. So now things are tense. 
Am I the a hole? A kid's birthday party where they only know five percent of the people there is not for the kid. You're absolutely right, and that is made it about him. I think you're right to do a second party that is actually about your son. I appreciate their ability to co-parent, but the way exes come in during the birthday sounds very unpleasant. Maybe going forward, you should have separate celebration events or follow the divorce decree. On the other hand, it's great that the ex's family is still warm with Opie. Not today, home. He is legit trying to dictate that you can't have a second party. Your ex sounds controlling, and it looks like he's using this party to impress others rather than to celebrate your son. It's perfectly fine to have separate celebrations. Your ex also doesn't get to dictate how you celebrate your son's birthday. You may want to move towards more of a parallel parenting model, as this kind of behavior tends not to improve. Do you want every birthday and holiday to be tense?